So the first card that's fallen is Rainbow, and this is being uh, able to overcome very, very difficult situations and move forward. So things are starting to look up for you. You've come, in, come through the worst of it, and now you're starting to recover. Maybe this whatever you've been through has had a lot of effects on your health. Um, and, you know, it looks like whatever it is has caused, caused a lot of stress and maybe produced a lot of stress illnesses for you. And, um, you know, this will get better because you've got the rainbow card following this health card. Maybe you've been focusing a lot on your health, but uh, whatever is going on, it looks like you will recover from it and get over that situation. Now, you're relying a lot on your um, psychic ability as well to do things and you're working by intuition. You've got the card of prophecy over here. So you might have an insight or maybe some kind of message that come in, came in for you about what you want to do for the future so something that has been very intuitive has come through to you and has given you a new lease on life and um, allowed you to see what you want to do for the future now you've got the depth of feeding card in the past of years so it looks like you invested a lot of emotions into this relationship uh you spent a lot of time uh you know a lot of your energy went into emotional energy went into this relationship uh, and it was a relationship that was very abundant so whatever it was that you were in or are in uh, you know uh, there was a lot of growth a lot of abundance came in because of that relationship now going to the future you've got the memory card so thinking a lot about the past but leaving it behind so this is almost like the death card cutting out the past that is not longer no longer serving you and moving forward and you've got the wisdom card so you are going to be spending you know a lot of time by yourself doing a lot of self-reflection maybe you're also getting into some kind of study you've got this woman with the scroll over here and also a lot of secrets are going to be revealed to you in the future so uh, a lot of things will be coming to light and, you know, maybe this is the reason why you'll be able to cut out that past because the truth comes to light and this allows you to move forward. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the Symbolon deck and this is not a tarot deck, but it's going to be, I'm going to use it for the general read. Okay, it looks like there are some messages coming in for you. You might be even thinking about doing some traveling as well. You've got the card of uh, Gemini, and this is Hermes over here. So there might be some kind of travel that you want to do, uh, but there's also some kind of message coming in for you. Um, some kind of communication coming in for you here. Um, this must, might be from somebody, um, you know, international. Some, for so, so somebody that is not in your uh, immediate vicinity. Uh, somebody that you know maybe from an international um somewhere far away that message coming in for you here and it's going to help you move forward whatever this message is so uh you know it's a message of transformation you've got the two butterflies over here in the card that's talking about transformation over here so something coming in for you that's going to allow you to move forward or you might even be taking a trip soon uh some doing some kind of international travel so there's a lot of truth that has been revealed, a lot of truth coming to light over here. You've got this card with this angel coming, uh, the truth is being revealed. And it's going to be something that is going to bring a lot of growth. You have come through a very, very difficult situation. You've got this rainbow and the clouds over here. So, or the, you know, the rainbow in front of the clouds. So whatever happened is now over and done with and you have been healing from this particular situation. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of growth as well. This could have been something to do with family. You've got the lilies in the background over here and it looks like now truth um, will be coming to light you might have somebody around you that is very supportive and somebody that you're asking for some kind of advice from uh, somebody who helps you um, you know get through the situation so somebody's there to give you that support and advice that you need it could be a very very good friend uh, you know uh, it could be even uh, somebody in your if you're in a relationship this could be somebody in a relationship this looks more like a friendship that is going on uh, and you're communicating a lot with this person and you're asking for some advice uh, on what to do or how to move forward so they're being very very supportive this particular person now in the past you've got this uh you know uh, beating yourself up uh, feeling uh, a bit guilty about something or being too hard on yourself so you you know you feel that maybe a lot of things were your fault and you're ha you know uh you're actually having a go at yourself, which is not the, a, a good place to be. You're self-punishing, and this should not be the case. You shouldn't be so harsh. You should give yourself a little bit of a break. So self, stop 
punishing yourself for things that have happened. Whatever has happened has happened. And, may, you know, you can't blame yourself. Uh, it's all water under the bridge right now. And it's time for you to move on. So stop, um, you know, uh, uh, giving yourself a hard time, really. It seems like whatever relationship you were in uh, was not really what it uh, appeared to be. Maybe everybody thought it was wonderful and it was going the right way and, you know, appearances were very deceptive. What everybody else saw around you was really not what was going on. There seems to be a lot of control issues. You can see this woman over here is, uh, this man has got his hand on the sword over here. So whoever what you were involved in or, are, you know, was was really very, very controlling in that situation. And everybody thought it was all wonderful and, and, and magnificent, but really that was not the case. There looks like there may have been some kind of verbal abuse. Um, you know, maybe this person was very manipulative, very controlling, but nobody else actually saw that. And there was nobody that you could really turn to because there was no real support uh, in that relationship. And it was a very, very burdensome relationship as well. It seems like you were doing all the work in that relationship and you were not getting any benefits from it. So this man is carrying this heavy load and walking and trying to, to get things done. But you can see there's no help and no support going on around. Now, it seems like, you know, you want to move to uh, uh, forward, but there's something that's holding you back or preventing you from making progress. Uh, it seems like maybe you're still using this person as a little bit of a crutch, uh, and, but this is, uh, you know, because um, this person's got a broken leg, and it seems like, uh, you know, whatever this person has uh, caused or whatever is going on, whatever dependency you have is preventing you from moving forward uh, quickly enough. There's a lot of obstacles that you're fighting still. You're still, um, you know, dealing with a lot of problems and a lot of issues. Uh, and, you know, it seems like you're you, you're on your own way, you started your own journey, uh, but it seems like there's very uh, slow progress because there's something there, maybe it's mental, uh, you know, constraints or, uh, you know, you have thoughts and, and maybe uh, a little bit of depression that's holding you back. And maybe you're still a little dependent on this person psychologically uh, and this is the reason why you're not moving forward. Now, you've got the Phoenix card, and this is uh, representing you. And this is showing that whatever happened or whatever happened, you are now rising from the ashes. So you are recovering from whatever that situation was. So whatever happened, uh, whatever problems or whatever drama happened, you are going to be recovering from it. Then you've got this card of... Um, um, Mars in Aries, and this is about whoever you've been dealing with has been very, very aggressive. There was a lot of arguments, fights. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can communicate with this person because it seems like as soon as you go to communicate with them, they rush in at you with this the sword, you know, they've, they've got harsh words, they're nasty. Uh, and you know, you've got this very vicious dog on the shield over here. So it seems like, you know, there's a lot, even if you communicate with them, it seems like it always ends up in some kind of argument and fighting. And it seems like you're the one that gets the, the brunt end because you can see this person's lying slain on the, uh, dead on the uh, track over there on the pathway over here. So whatever this person has done, you know, it feels like they have uh, emotionally destroyed you. And it seems like, you know, even when you try to communicate with them, um, there's a lot of aggression or there's a lot of fighting that goes on over here. And this has left you very, very depressed, feeling very, very lonely, uh, feeling very, very miserable. You are still crying about whatever happened there. So it looks like you may have been a little uh, codependent on this person as well, but you will overcome the situation. You've got that phoenix there. Now, going to the future, uh, it looks like, you know, you're trying to uh, manifest a new relationship. You want marriage. You want some kind of commitment. Maybe you were in a marriage. So maybe this has this is the marriage card. Maybe this was what the situation was. You were in a marriage, and this has broken down, and now you're having to move forward. Uh, but you're certainly spending some time thinking about it. Um, it looks like you've learned a lot of lessons from it, and uh, you've got this um, card of the uh, teacher and the uh, student over here. So you have learned a lot of lessons. Maybe you're taking on a role now as being a mentor or somebody who is able to give back uh, in that kind of um, uh, capacity. So a lot of spiritual lessons learned as well. And, you know, you have become a master in that way. You have overcome a lot and you have, uh, you know, you have um, you've got a lot to give to the world as well. So it looks like uh, with this card, you're in a, you know, you're going to be reaching some kind of um, dilemma. Maybe you do want to be married, but now in this new relationship, and you maybe a new relationship will present itself, and you will be, or you're now considering what you want to do for the future, whether you want to take, uh, you know, on that role of of being a nurturer or whether you want to start a family or whether you want to just focus on yourself and get on with things. So you're trying to make a decision about whether you want to uh, take on that role uh, where you, 
you know, you, you get back into relationship again or whether you want to just focus on yourself and focus on your own um, growth rather than worrying about somebody else. So you are reaching a little bit of a crossroads and you've learned a lot of lessons So and you're still learning. So you're deciding whether or not you know it is worth getting back into a relationship or not. So there's some kind of choice that you will make uh, need to make and there's some kind of conflict going on with you about whether or not you want to um, you know invest yourself or your energies back in a relationship so it looks like there's some kind of message coming in from you for you from somebody or you might be doing some travel it looks more likely that you will be doing some travel or getting out of that situation and it looks like you are getting some advice from somebody around you as well it looks like there's a uh, truth that is going to be revealed um, but you will overcome the situation whatever comes through for you you will rise from it I'm just drawing some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And the first card is the Nine of Ariel, which says your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success a love for beautiful things in life. So this is like the Nine of Pentacles. And this is, uh, you know, achieving financially. So it looks like, uh, you know, you overcome these problems. You've got the Rainbow card over here. So the difficulties, if you've had financial difficulties, those are now coming to an end. And you are now moving forward. Um, and, you know, you are moving forward independently. So it looks like, you know, you are focusing on yourself and your self-growth at this particular moment. You've got the High Priestess over here, which says powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable inf information and be at peace. So this is getting over that difficult situation, going in with yourself and using your own instincts and intuition to overcome uh, these problems. So you are relying a lot on yourself and you are going by your own instincts right now. And the last card is Change Your Life, which says sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. So big changes are happening. Uh, you know, there's big shifts in energies. Uh, if you're feeling stuck in a particular situation, it looks like things are going to be changing in your life that bring you out and, uh, you know, liberate you from anything that is holding you back. Anything that is um, you're being codependent co on, it looks like there's a change coming in your life that's going to, uh, you know, make you independent and, um, you know, give you back that personal power that you seem to be, you know, it seems as though, you know, there's a little, um, you have lost your self-confidence a bit, and it seems like something's going to be coming in that's going to give you a choice about what you want to do, and it's going to bring a big change in your life as well, and allow you to overcome any kind of difficulties and rise above it. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.